Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Rockin' Roundtable. My name is Matthias. And I'm Shay. Today's reaction is Dream On, Dream On <laughs> by Liliac featuring Rosie, R O Z Y. It's exciting. Yeah, this is going to be really cool. I never heard of them, and I mean, Rosie. Yeah. Liliac, I mean, we're huge fans of. Huge so, fans. Yeah. Yeah. And Dream On by Aerosmith mm -hmm. is my favorite Aerosmith song. Yeah. Wow. And uh, yeah, we a lot of people have covered this song and uh, I'm curious to see how Liliac does it. Yeah, I mean, they're following so many iconic legends that have covered it, including Dio. Yes, right? yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, Dio so covered, yeah, this song with Ingve Malmsteen. <laughs> and Crazy, right? Yeah. And, and that cover is... I mean, it's up there with the original. It's exceptional. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it truly is. Mm. So this is going to be fun to check this one out. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where we will give our reaction, our review, and our rating. So let's roll.
Oh, wow. Dream on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even. Wow. I, I, that was like the climax, and they both did it together and harmonized. I like that. that they, they achieved it. They achieved that, that, yeah. that part for sure. <laughs> Loved it. And I mean, we love uh, Melody from Liliac. Oh, yeah. But, but the other girl, mm -hmm. Rosie, mm -hmm. she is good too. Great yeah, voice. Yeah, has a rough edge. Uh, the power isn't as much as Melody, but it's right there. I mean, she she held her own. They yeah, almost we have, sounded very similar. Very similar. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. And I, we need to check out her band as well. And I'm thinking, like the drummer, I, I maybe he is in Rosie. Maybe he is the drummer in Rosie. I I don't know no. the whole band. We it, I, we don't. Who is the drummer? Um, because we know it's not the the official drummer of Liliac. So. Since they were collabing with Rosie, not just the vocalist, maybe the whole band. So maybe. Mm -hmm. I yeah. don't know. Uh, Good point. Let us know below. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So what do you think about... Okay, so it's, there is so many covers of Dream On from Aerosmith. Um, yeah. The iconic, the original has always been everyone's number one. You know, sometimes... Not that it is the best, but, you know, sometimes the first time that people hear something... That that is their that sticks in their head the most because it's the first one. And the fact they wrote the song. Yeah, yeah, you, you know. know I mean, so, Steven Tyler wrote this song, so right, yeah. and he wrote it in, in, with his own voice in mind, and blah blah blah. So yeah, yeah. Um, he was passionate about it and very and he, feeling those words as, as he sang them. Yeah. So yeah. And, and I think I think a cover. Uh, I mean, the, the the people who do covers of songs like this, these classic songs. I mean, it's. It's a tribute mm -hmm. to the original. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, you, they, I think they did a great job with the arrangement, a mm -hmm. little bit of a different arrangement. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the beginning when uh, Sam came in, you know, with, with his guitar, I, yeah. I thought he he was, you know, planning to cover Ingve's part in, in the Dream On cover he did with Dio. But so, was it? No, it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't. Oh. But uh, but when it started with the guitar, I thought, oh, it's going to do the Ingve version yeah. of, of Dream On cover. But but he didn't. And uh, but I'm glad he didn't because no, it's like who yeah. can cover Ingve? I mean, not too many people. Yeah, I mean, why so he didn't even try do but, a cover of a cover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did his like version of of the way he would interpret it. Yeah. So it was very cool. So, but I think, like I said, the arrangement where they put in the, the drum beats was a bit d different drum beat. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the guitars and uh, the way they sang. I, I think they did a really good job. I just felt that they, maybe it was the production or the mixing that she, Melody held back in a way because we know she has a, such a strong voice. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but maybe it was just me that kind of, well, they want. I think they wanted that climax part to really yeah. shine, but I. But I still feel. I mean, the production was good, but like I've heard them. I've heard Liliac past things, and the the arrangements were better. Like I want to say, maybe it. it I want to. I want. I wanted it to be of a wider sound, like mm -hmm. that. Like you said, the drums were there, guitar, everything stood out, but we needed a little fuller sound. That's all. Just like a like. Like amp it up a bit, not just turn it up, but just um, maybe in the mixing, just yeah. just like produce it a little bit. But it was still really good. It was oh, done really yeah. well. But it could have, it could have been even a step up. It could have, it could even go more. Yeah, because they always have yeah. really good mm -hmm. productions. The mixing, like I said. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. I, I mean, I, I, th I still think it sounded absolutely incredible. It, it did, but it was yeah. a, a little bit a little bit different, maybe than we have heard before. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And maybe it's just this, you know, hey, when a certain certain band has certain standards that they've already introduced for years, it's like that's what you expect, you know. And this is this is in there, but it it could just be a little bit. A little bit more. I don't know. Yeah. But it, do you think it still had that kind of like sound from like the 70s? Like the like kind of, or was it more modern take for you? Oh, no. For, for me, it was very 2024, very modern. Yeah. Like yeah. top notch, uh, you know, sound in general, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, you can't really compare either to the 70s analog recording equipment compared to today when essentially you can do a full album in your in your 
you know, closet. <laughs> Backyard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, in basement. No, that's yeah. true. Um, maybe, yeah, like, and but there's something about the 70s sound with the good recordings. Mm -hmm. They're just timeless. Yeah, just, it has, you know, kind of the, the charm. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, bands like Aerosmith, Hart, yeah. Pat just, Benatar. Yeah. Those bands, uh, Fleetwood Mac, yeah, Fleetwood Mac, Led Zeppelin, even Deep Purple, even oh, yeah, Deep Purple, oh, but even do the Doors, the, yeah, the, uh, that's the sound is just yeah, yeah, it's really, really, really yeah. cool. And I just remember uh, as a as a kid putting on a vinyl from let's let's say Deep Purple, Black mm -hmm. Sabbath mm -hmm. from the seventies. It was just such a incredible feeling and so so raw in a way. Yeah. You didn't think about it back then, but now when you compare it to today, today's productions compared to the back in the day with the vinyl records and the 70s analog, you know, recording, it's just such a difference, but still, I love both. And I love today's uh, modern technology. Of course, it, it's easier and you, there's so much more you can do, but yeah. it's, it's like um, sometimes digital sometimes analog is better you know yeah. um i don't know bringing a fuller sound and the i, I guess it's all in the production because we've heard digital the, the, the modern ways and it sounds full and amazing and incredible so it's just it's you know it's just production yeah but, but there's so many pieces involved in mm -hmm. producing an album i mean you have the the, the producer one thing and then you have the mixing mm -hmm. you have the mastering and mm -hmm. All these things are equally important um, yeah. to, to create that masterpiece, mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, we have talked about Liliac so many times before, and Liliac is such a wonderful, wonderful band with great talent. And the fact that they're, they are a family, family siblings, is it, just incredible. And, and the father is involved. Well, the entire family is involved in yeah. Yeah. everything around this the business, the organization, the Liliac organization. Mm -hmm. And what a amazing thing they have created here. Now, we've seen them one time live mm -hmm. at our favorite local venue, Count Vant, Count's mm -hmm. Vant. Um, and it was like two years ago. And it was like, oh, my God, it was incredible. So, um, w a wow. I mean, what a just everything, every the whole show, the, the sound, her voice, Everything was mm -hmm. amazing. And then um, they were going to return just this past year in 2023 on Liliac's North American tour. And one of the stops was in Las Vegas again, same venue. We had tickets, but that show got canceled because they had bus trouble. Right. I think when they were in California and they couldn't get here. So yeah. they had to they had to skip this show and maybe one other show or go right to Arizona two three days later. So anyway, mm -hmm. our, we got we got a refund, but that sucks. I would have uh, I was like so excited to see them again. So we will because they oh, tour yeah. all the time. It's like every time I, you know, every time I I look on you know Liliac's tour page, it's like there's a new tour and a new yeah. one and another one and a new one and so they're just they're young and full of energy. <laughs> Yeah, and, so, yeah, and that they employ a lot of people, so they have mm -hmm. to keep going. So, <laughs> so what about rating? What do you want to give? Well, this you know, this song is even though know, it's a classic, it's not one that I always listen to. It's not like oh, I have to, I, I have to turn it up when it comes on. So it's not something that maybe it's because I've just heard it so many times. So, but it's still an amazing track and I think they did a great job. So I think they did, I think I'm going to give it 7.5 out of 10 Marshall Stacks. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I mean, mm -hmm. considering it's a cover, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a tough one. Uh, well, first off, Dream On, like I said, it's my favorite Aerosmith song. And uh, one of my favorite covers of this song is by Dio and Ingrid Malmsteen. Yes. Uh, I don't think this one is as good as the Dio Ingve version, mm -hmm. uh, but I want to give this uh, seven Marshall Stacks out of ten. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fair. Yeah, yeah, very good. Great job, guys. Yeah, very, very good job. Mm -hmm. And I love that Lilia keeps 
doing covers, even though they have original materials as well, as well, which is absolutely incredible. People, yeah, the fans and the people look forward to all the covers because they know that she can do it and the band can do it, but they mm -hmm. also really appreciate their original music. So it's great. It's a win-win, you yeah. know? So, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I hope they keep doing both. Um, and uh, yeah, the last album, we absolutely love that. Yes, you yes. Know, with, with the original songs, so... However, it's it's a uh, it's a good band, and we will keep covering. We will keep covering them. Yes. And do reactions for anything they they release here. So yeah. Well, that wraps up today's reaction video for Dream On Liliac, featuring Rosie. So if you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell and comment below. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side.